Euh, oui, je t'entends. Un petit peu. C'est quand tu veux. OK. So, welcome back, everybody. So, um, I hope that you have a blessed camp meeting so far. Um, I want to thank you. Um, thank Clara for the song. Because I really like this song. Um, so we will have now the second presentation. And we will begin by a silent prayer. Amen. Amen. Okay, so that's the second part of our studies. So in the first part, we begin to uh, see methodology. We try to understand uh, the concept of sample to complex. And I, I hope that you see now that this um, concept is very important for us to understand. And I hope that you will see uh, why all the tests um, begin by this concept when um, by when in the Vespers. So in the first part, it was methodology. It was um, it was not very practical. Um, so now we will try to understand how it applied to us. So I so at the end of the first presentation, we saw that uh, this model was perfect. Um, oh, it was um, designed by God to help us to understand the complex, the history that is complex. And we begin to see um, that the, we see the same problematic as the everlasting gospel. That is the creation of two classes. And we saw also that when um, Jesus talked about parable teachings, he said direct, directly to his disciple that it will produce 
two classes. I also see that in Daniel 12. And we understand also why uh, Christ's teaching was rejected. And in himself, it was he, he, he was rejected also. Uh, so I think that we are familiar with um, these two classes. But what I want uh, us to see now, so I will succeed on these classes. Okay, those who are willing to follow Christ, to um, be taught by his methodology, they will have to experience um, something in their vision. So I will say simply that they will have to to go to the so they will have to transition. <laughs> From the sample to the complex. And we will see the application for us in the reform line. But you can already see that the disciple uh, they had misconception at the, at the first place. Because they did not understand the simple prophetic model. Because they had misconception and, and they, they distorted the prophetic model. So they will have to make this transition to simple to complex. And they will have a better understanding. And we will see that uh, for us, for the Sandelo, we, we will have to do the same experience. And we will see that we are, we are always, maybe you don't realize it. But since 2019, we are um, in the same process. So, um, Okay, two minutes. Uh, I want just to choose with with why I begin. Um, okay, so now we are in the Okay, so we will read um, Hebrew 5. Verse 12 to 13. So you have to remember uh, the word transition. And also uh, <coughs> two vision. Uh, 
but not a vision by Chirungu. So let's read the verse. So Hebrew, uh, Hebrews 5, verse 12 to 13. For, from when for the time we ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principle of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a, by, a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are a full age, even those who by reason of use have their sense exercised to discern both good and evil. Takava avovaida mkaka, kwete vanoda mabonzo. But umo yuyo anoda mkaka, munu asina zivo pa shokura mwari, nipa kururama. And uyeje, achiri mudiki pa kutenda. Okay, so we will um, use this verse, uh, use methodology to understand this verse. When I talk about using methodology, you know that um, I'm talking about comparing and contrasting. Comparing and contrasting. So the verse is saying that we are supposed to be Teachers. And um, I will say, if you don't mind, um, adult. Uh, and it says that when you are um, teachers, adult, you um, you use strong meat. Vesera Tara Makuru, Munoda, a Jaka of Jaka Kora, cano Jerima Bonzo, Jaka Simba. Then it's, the verse says that um, you, um, you are, um, say, babe. So. Yes. In the verse, see? that you should be teacher, adult, but you are um, babe. And, uh, so it's uh, a reproof. Okay. And when you are babe, you don't have the same, um, you don't feed the same way. And you cannot um, support strong meat, but you have to ask milk. And uh, um, I will suggest I have a baby. I have I have a baby. Is I have a baby. Is one year old. In he will be one year in um in maybe uh yeah in two weeks. And he love a lot milk. Every time uh, we see that he love he love milk. And in fact, that's not a problem. What will what will be the problem? Uh, I will be uh, worried if uh, in ten years or uh, twenty years, he's still drinking milk, and that's all. So, there must be what? 
Like a pan pan oge panichi. Transition. Ane kushanduka. It not a transition pachurum. So this transition, I I suggest. Like kushanduka uku. That this transition is the transition to the sample, to the complex. Because we see that the disciple at the beginning, they, they were feeding with, with milk. So they were not able to discern. They cannot discern good and evil. But at some time, Christ was trying to um, to make them do the transition. That they can have the complete vision. And that they could discern good and evil. So I will suggest that from sample to complex, it's our methodology. methodology. Uh, as we see in the first presentation, how a complex history will be illustrated by um, a um, simple prophetic model. The sample to the complex it's also our experience. It's the experience that we should have. It's the experience that we we had, in fact. Let me remind you. So I will draw a reform line. Second, draw a reform line. Not all reform line. Reform line ready. So it's um, it's uh, the end of the reform line of the priest. And I would suggest that I would suggest that there was a transition. So if we see that, this reform line, can I check it as a reform line? So um, what we will see now, So we were making a lot of study in 2014 to 2019. And basically, we were saying we were studying the, the American Civil War. And we were studying the North between the South.
And what we were, what we were saying at that time. Guys, the pump sort of pay a Kurok, my America, not civil war, not in the south. North is good. I will not see you come so far. right. Okay. And it will not be because I see the wrong one. Is that true? I will say that it's true. But it's simple. We would, we would say um, that Luther. Calvin, the reform, the reformers. We told all my reformers that they are good. Calvin, they are not vanguard right. And the Pope. We would say that um, Luther and Calvin are good. Um, they are not vanguard right. Biden. Uh, it's good. So not Munaka Naka. It's bad. So Trump, Kutimuno, as I don't have the feedback from the Zoom. And now, my feedback from you, and maybe you have some other thing that I have not in mind. But, I will give you a, a last one. Okay. Sorry. I think that we are familiar with this one. Okay. So left wing is good to know no good right wing it's bad so what what are we saying now so we begin to see and it was um i think in 2020 I think it was at the, the camp meeting in Portugal, where uh, we are discussing about the American civil war. And in November, we got to go to the camp in Portugal. We began to see that um, the North is good. We began to see that the North is good. We began to see that the North is good. We began to see that the North is good. We began to see that the North is good. We began to see that the North is good. We began to see that the North is good. We began to see that the North is good. We began to see that the North is good. So if we compare the, the two, and you, we have the simple vision. Yes, it's true. North is good and south is bad. But if you look carefully to the details, you will see that yeah, with the north there is some serious problems. Take a look at the life of Abraham Lincoln. And we saw that, yeah, the North was problematic. Then also in 2020, we began to look closely at the reformers. Lines. We began to see that, yeah, Luther, Calvin, they were um, racist, sexist. So we <inaudible> began to analyze Then um, it's the same for Biden. And It's the same thing um, with the left wing and the right wing. So we begin to. We know that on the major broadcast. broadcast. Because at the beginning it was um, yeah CNN versus Fox News. 
So no no to pick tanga yanga di C N N versus Fox. Two streams of information. To get our pam so depends the zimbiri the information. You have to go to the uh, right source, uh, right stream. Chai wifi na kuienda kunzizi chai uchai uwe So it was before 2019. Saka ijaka tawa kumashure kwa 2019. And then we begin to see that yeah the right wing the right wing is a good stream. But when you read articles, you cannot talk, you cannot take all that you find in the left wing. Because there is uh, some problems. Some 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 serious problems. So we see that as a movement, movement. We made this transition. If we uh, look carefully at the, the studies that have been um, de uh, developed by our elders, we see that. We made this transition. What we have to uh, understand is that the sample is co is correct. It's true. But it samples. Uh, you have to remind that the sample is there to give you the direction. You, have, you remember um, at the first study you have the direction. But when you look closely, it's never as simple. I see you see that the simple is true. So we will never um, come back um, uh, into this year and saying that, yeah, we were teaching error. It's simply that we have made the transition and from, from simple to complex. And now we have a, a fuller understanding. So if we come back to the verse, the verse says that uh, the strong meat belong to them that are full age and they have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So here, you discern. And in our experience, we see that from 2019 to, uh, to now, we have been able to uh, have a better discernment. So I will try to um, find another example. And we will uh, try to look at um, a familiar prophetic models. So I, I hope that this is um, it's clear for, for everyone uh, that you see the you you, you really see the, the transition that we, we have to, to make. And I hope that you realize also that um, the studies that was bring by Elder Tess was uh, directly um, the, the goal was really to help us to make that transition. It's really how um, oh, I, I feel it, you know? So um, 
let's look at, okay, so I don't want to erase because. Uh, and stop to need the mesh. Okay. So we will try to look at uh, another model that we um, we are very familiar with. Um, if I find my notes. Oh, I just like to know how many times do I have. Okay. Okay, so okay, I so I'll just remind you that the verse that we read. Um, it's um, is directly from um, you know Hebrews five twelve is taken from Isaiah uh, twenty eight. Isaiah chapter. Because we have the same uh, words. It says like from whom I will teach knowledge. To them, we are fed with um, breast and milk. But we are no more. We are no more fed with breast and milk. Sorry. And then you say because it's line upon line, precept upon precept. Nekuti i line upon line uye zero nyoro pamsoro pane rumo zinyoro. So we, I see. I, I hope that we see clearly that for those who accepted uh, Christ's teaching and the methodology, it's good. It's good. You accept the, the message. You accept the line. But now you have to move line, forward. Line. And if you're not moving forward, you will um will leave the message. And we experience we experience it that for those who are in the movement since 2019. We saw people who were not able to make this transition. They left us. So uh, we will try to look at the lamb like beast model. We find this model in Revelation 13. No, no model, but not Revelation chapter 13. Verse 11. Oh, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So I will try to um, illustrate this model as I see it. So I will try to illustrate this model as I see it. So I will try to illustrate this model as I see it. So this verse is um, covering all the story of the United States. 
a United States. From the beginning to the end. And we see that at the beginning, it's, uh, it's begin like an M. Because they are flying the persecution from Europe. And they try to implement a government based, in, based upon uh, freedom of conscience, freedom of, of, relig of uh, religion. So they have this lamb characteristic. And then at the end, they deny, they, they deny this principle. And they begin to speak um, as a dragon. So I would say that this model is sequential. Okay, because we have one state and another state. The problem is when we, um, with the understanding that we have with this model, we begin to have a false view of, of current events. When uh, Donald Trump was elected, we saw his, his, uh, his characteristics. And we begin to see that, oh, the United States, they will act like a dictatorship. There will be a martial law. And we begin to imagine um, something that was very far, that was very far from reality. But I would suggest that this verse, Revelation 13, verse 11. As the mono put Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. A different, um, a different application. Without a deep application, I can't see any. And so, uh, we will see a quote on this. this so the quote. Quote. If we are, if we have, if we had read carefully the, the quote. On a chavering, I knock a quotation in. That in great controversy. Non quoi, great controversy. Page 442 to uh, paragraph one. Uh, GC 442.1. It says, the lamb like horse and dragon voice of the symbol point to a striking contradiction between the profession and the practice of the nation thus represented. In Otaura Io Kuti, a Nyanga Ito, Zagafana, the Wayana, Nens Gragafana, and Nerich Car, she noted the Kusiana Kuripaka Tipe Izo, Shalano Tendan Izo, Shalanoita, Mukatimenica Ir, Kutalabam Slopejai. So here you see contradiction. Saka Apatukuona Kurusana. So if you see contradiction, can I, so you see contradiction between um, profession and practice? That's mean that it must happen at the um, you see this situation at the same time. So the lamb is the profession. And the dragon is the action. 
dragon tono zvekare kuti ndo zvavanoita zvanorama zvitoita so that's quite different so it's i will say simultaneous saka tukona i yekuti a lamp ne dragon zviri pamwe chete tukona i chinzi simultaneous kuti zviri kuitika panguva imwe chete i hope that you see the bob you know about murkona bob rangu mese so in this model we see that it's happened at the same time tukona kuti pa model i zviri kuitika panguva imwe chete kuti and we have a better understanding of the reality because we see that in in reality the united states they will still they will always profess to be lamb they will always profess to be um democracy but when we will look at the action we see that the and we already uh, we are we are already seeing that in the in the news tukugara chizviona izvi kubva muna hu the uh, contradiction between the action and the profession eh tukuona kurwisana pakati pe izvi zvanoti vanotenda nezvanorama vachita so we on this we we can see that at the first place tinoona kuti pakutotanga chaipo we distorted the model that was given to us. Because we were imagining a dictatorship, martial law with Donald Trump. Because we had only this comprehensive um, understanding. Which is the sample and we had to make the transition to the complex which is what we are seeing right now in the united states So we we had to make this transition. But as we we can see and see the sample is still true. Because at the end they will act like a dragon. We are but you have to make the transition to see the complex. So um, I don't know how many time do I have. And this is go and Okay, so. Um, we are we will come back to uh so elder test when she begins the vespers oh that is she wanted i think that she wanted us to make this transition to from sample to the complex um in regard to the sandelo uh, in relation to the sandelo so we will read some um some extract of the vespers I hope that you see it. Yes. Do you know me? Walk to me. Same church. You wanna? 
Okay, so in the first study, she said, and to approach that complicated history, we discuss how complex history is versus the prophetic narrative or the cliche that Adventism develop. So the, the reality is that These these stories they are both complex. That's the reality. But the way the way we 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 see it. Simplistic. So if we see that, because you see that there is a relation. So if we see 8088, um, simplistically, how can you how can we understand? The current Sandelo. Sandelo So that's why the first the first step that um Elder Test uh, bring us. Saka Ijindo Chekutanga Chataka Unzuana Elder Tis. Was to come back to the eighty eighty eight history. Good Zoka Kune Nurondia eighteen eighty eight. To see the complexity that you have in the in this history. So it's it's begin um, in three step. So you have the Brazilian competing. In in Brazil, the school of the prophet in France. For Peter's score, or chair, my prophets for France. And then you have the camp meet, the international camp meeting in Germany. For Peter, camp meeting in Germany. And at that time, the vision that we have from the for the Sandelo. Before it was it was in the year 2019. So it was March, August, August. So it was March. So we were on the vision of the basic vision uh, Sabbath versus Sunday. And so, and the test bring us back to um to the eighteen eighty eighty eight history. You see that um we were looking in the wrong direction. That we are, we were not understanding correctly this history. And we began to uh, understand for what um, A.T. John was fighting. And we began to see that A.T. John were fight, fighting for three things. He was not defending Sabbath versus Sunday. 
Aisa defender Nyaye Sunday and Sabbath. But the, the respect of the constitution? As I say, I tell you, you know, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to Separation of church and state? The government cannot um, enforce a specific day to a people. The respect of the freedom. Uh, the inalienable rights. The government, the government has no rights to decide uh, for you, for your belief, for your for, for your religion. And the protection of the minorities. The government Okay. So that was the, the first step that um and you have to remember that the AD from well, the main thing is that we have a simplistic vision, very, very simplistic vision. And we, we had to understand the complexity of this story. And the first step was to understand what A.T. John were, was fighting. Then uh, we arrived in August at the French um, uh, School of the Prophets. School of the Prophets. And the test will use methodology. And she will compare and contrast. Two books. Spiritual gifts. And great controversy. And uh, we will try, we will understand that the, the, what we called Sunday law can be um, different um, in relation to the generation. And then at the German camp meeting, the international camp meeting, he formally announced that the Sunday law is not about Sabbath versus Sunday. And she shows that we are um, in a, the increase of knowledge about the Sunday law. And I remember uh, in in at this I was sitting there at this camp meeting. And the Dukuranga Rautindangan Popa came meeting in the Katogara. And uh, it was a, a shock for me. And I am But I have the a strong conviction that it was true. Because I was reading the, some quote from uh, the book Last Day Events. And I couldn't understand why uh, Ellen White was saying that the the Sunday law is she was talking already at the Sunday law in our time period, and I couldn't understand. And I remember And it was clear for me now. And I remember I, at the end of the presentation, I came to, to Elder Test. Came to her and I, I told her that, yeah, it, it's... Uh, a strong saying that to say that it's not Sabbath versus Sunday. And but for me, it, it was already making sense for me. 
So, um, I don't know how many times to. So, five, I have five minutes, so I will have to, to conclude. Uh, so, I will not have the time, but um, it will be interesting to do the same exercise, but with um, 2014. Because um, you know, if I if I have, if I ask the question, by the way, what even do we mark for the Sunday law in 2014? So what will you answer? So we can see that there is no one event. Okay. Um, so I have a little more time, so we will try to to um to look at this story. So, so we have no we have no specific event for 2014. And if I would ask you the question, what do you mark for 2014? You well, know that there will be a multiple answer. Some people will talk about uh, Cambridge Analytica. Some people will talk about the, the takeover of the Republican Party. Steve Bannon, Stephen Miller. Steve Miller, Steve Bannon. Uh, some would uh, talk about the blocking of Obama judicial judicial appointment. Uh, some would talk about the Obi Lobby case. But already we saw that um, in 2014. As to to own out to make 2014, the Sunday law is a complex story. To own out a Sunday law, it was not one particular event. It's not one. You have some subject, some to, and you have multiple histories. But you see, Already that you have in 2014, a movement that is rising to power movement. to enforce a Christian conservative morality. So in eight, it's the same as in eighty eighty eight. We have, we have uh, Christian morality in force uh, in the constitution. So we can already see that in 1888, we had um, so. Um, a takeover by of the constitution to make it Christian. Uh, at least an attempt to do that. An attempt, tentative. And uh, 126 years later, we have 1888. A movement that is rising, rising to take over the Republican Party. 
the Republican Party. And to put in place a conservative president, Donald Trump. And Trump will place conservative judges. That will interpret, interpret the Constitution certain way that will make the Sunday law um, possible. So what we see is that we had to come back to 88, so, no, and the test bring us back to 1888. But we could also come back to 2014. You see the, the complexity. And to understand better the complexity that we are living right now. Okay, so um, we arrive at the end of the, the presentation. There, there would be a lot more to say. But I hope that you will um, retain the, um, that you will have um, the, the principle. That the sample to the complex is the continuation of our methodology. And to the complex, it's also our experience. And the experience that we had here. And um, I hope that every um, one of us, you will see that uh, you will not step back and continue to the process to the sample to the complex. As we saw it in, in the Bible, the milk and the straw meat. But also that the, the experience that we went through. So um, I've uh, finished my two presentations. Uh, I hope that it was clear enough. And um, so it was um, a great time for me in, in presenting, but also in uh, preparing this preparing these studies. I hope that it will. Uh, Encourage you to study the Vespers. And that you will see the, the necessity to, to, yeah, to study the, the Vespers. To, to better understand uh, the history that we are living. And the Sunday law that is. Approaching. So um, we will uh, kneel down for, for prayer. Uh, dear Lord, we want to thank you for, for your love. For us, for your, your, your care. Your guidance. For the methodology that you 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 gave us. For the the experience that we we had in this movement. Um, I pray that you will still um, um keep us. 
on this platform. That we may not step back. And that we may continue under your guidance. Please bless uh, the camp meeting. All the persons who are attending to this camp meeting. So the technical parts. And uh, may we be attentive to the, the next presentation by Elder Parminder. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.